This curious little structure is known as an antibubble. What the heck is an antibubble, and how do you make them? To understand what an antibubble is, it's first helpful to think about regular bubbles. The surface of a normal bubble is made of soapy water. There's air on the inside and air on the outside of the bubble surface. Here, you're looking at the formation of an antibubble in slow motion. Soapy water that's been colored red is being dripped into uncolored soapy water. Notice that in the case of this antibubble, the inside is filled with red liquid. So with an antibubble, the inside and outside is soapy liquid, while the membrane's made of air. To make your own antibubbles, drip some concentrated dish detergent into water. This next part takes a bit of practice. Take a straw and dip it into the water about two centimeters deep. Then place your finger over the straw to trap the soapy water in the straw. Pull the straw out of the water and hold it just a little bit above the water surface. Release your finger and let the soapy water fall into the water. There it is, I made an antibubble.